All right, so we want to prove that every separable metric space is second countable. So as we want to do with most of these exercises, the first step is to sort of mentally go through and flesh out these definitions in your head. So separable metric space. So it's a metric space. So this is a topology which is generated by um, open balls with respect to some metric. And it's separable, meaning that we have a countable neighborhood base for the topology at each point. And to prove that, or to say that second countable means that there exists a countable dense. No, 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 no. Separable means that, okay, so yeah, this is why you flesh out the definitions because you can do what I just did and get the definitions wrong. Separable means that there exists a countable dense subset. Second countable means that there is a countable neighborhood base for the topology at every point. So given a topology generated by a metric, which has a countable dense subset, we want to find for every single point a countable neighborhood base for of the topology at that point. Okay, so let x be a separable metric space, which I'll just abbreviate like that. Um, let y be a countable dense subset of x. Let rho be the metric on x. So again, rho exists because it's a metric space, y exists because it's separable. Okay, so let x be any point in the space x. We want to find a countable neighborhood base for tau at x. Okay, so we're going to define a set and we're going to prove that this set is a countable neighborhood base. So we're going to have fancy n is going to be ball of radius r centered at, at, at y such that r is a positive number because that's how that that's needed for this ball to be defined but we also specify that r must be a rational number y must be in this countable set y and we have x is an element of b r y okay so fancy n this is going to be a subset of t the topology on our uh, separable metric space and why is this the case this is true because it consists entirely of open balls and fancy n is countable because um, Q and Y are. Because again, N is also N is sets of the form ball of radius R centered at Y, where we have stipulations on R and Y. And so the size of N is um so let's see here. This the the cardinal so this um yeah, for et, for each r and q and for each y and y, we get an element in n. And so there are only countably many choices for r, because r is taken from the rationals. And there's only countable many choices for y, since y is taken from the countable dense set capital Y. And so there's only countably many choices for a ball b, r, y and thus there are only countably many choices for an element of n, and so n is countable. Okay? So, um, so let's see here. So for all elements v in n, x is in v by construction. Because we chose these elements of n to contain x. 
Okay, so that and that's that's uh, one of the parts of proving that something is a neighborhood base is the the collection a collection of sets for a collection of sets to be a neighborhood base it needs to be a collection of open sets and each element in this collection must contain the point x um, and so that's what we've proven and now we need the the trickier part of being a neighborhood base um, which is Next, let u be an element of t such that x is in u. Uh, and then what we have to do is we must find some v in n such that x is contained in v and v is entirely contained in u. Well, I guess we can just say the only thing that we need to prove here is that v is entirely contained in u because we already know that x is in v. Um, so yeah. So how are we going to do this? Um, so let me draw a picture first because this is this is what I really like about working with metric spaces is I can use my visual intuition uh, to my advantage. So let's call this. Oh, well I guess I guess let's let's start. Um, let, let's do some setup stuff first before we get to the picture. Since you is open and x is in u there exists some r prime greater than zero such that x is contained in the ball of radius r prime of centered at x which is contained in u and this is true because open balls are a base for this topology because it's a metric topology all right, and then let's choose some r which is greater than zero but less than r prime such that r is a rational number. Okay, so now we have x is in b, r, x contained in u as well. So this is what we wanted. We wanted a, a, an open ball centered at x with rational radius which is contained in u and we can do that because we're working in a metric space okay so now we need to figure out we need to prove that there is some element of n can contained in u so here again i'm going to be using my or visual intuition to my advantage so the way i think about this is we have some ball of radius R centered at X and here will be X so we know that elements of elements of capital Y are dense in this ball of radius R centered at X and so if you choose one of those points you should be able to choose one of those points in Y and put a ball around it which will contain the point X um, however, if you choose a point Y, which is like really close to the boundary of this ball of radius R about X, then you can't really, um, you can choose an element which is in the dense set capital Y here, but you can't get a radius, you can't put a radius around this which is large enough to include X, because then this open set will no longer be contained in BRX. Um, instead, you've got to choose one which is really close to X. And so the way that I'm actually going to go about doing this is I'm going to put a ball and there might be more efficient ways of doing this, but I like this particular approach because it allows me to think about this visually. So we put a ball of radius R over four centered at X. And now this is an open neighborhood of X. So it contains some element y which is in the set capital y because the capital the set capital y is dense and now around this point y we will and and here the point is it doesn't matter if y is going to be close to the boundary of ball of radius r over 4 over x and the reason that doesn't matter is because we're going to surround y 
that's not great. Yeah, that's not great either. Oh, let's just, let's just, sure, that works. Okay, so this is going to be a ball of radius r over two. Whoa. Okay, we're good. This is going to be a ball of radius r over two centered at the point y. And this ball will contain the ball of radius r over four of x. We'll be able to prove that because of how the distances will work. We'll basically end up using the triangle inequality a bunch here to prove that this ball of radius r over two over y will do what we want it to do. It will contain x, and it will be entirely contained in brx. And because um, we chose r to be rational, r over two is rational, and y is in the countable dense subset y, and so this ball is an element of n. Um, and so this is this is the uh, so this is the open set that we're the, this is an l this is the element of or this is an element of uh, fancy n which we are looking for and so that will confirm the last thing that we need to prove to confirm that n is a uh, it's a uh, neighborhood base for the topology at x. Okay, so anyways, now that I've drawn this picture and babbled a bunch, let's actually prove some things about this. Okay, so since y is dense in x under the given topology, there exists some element y in br over 4x. Let v be b r over 2 y. Then v is in fancy n because of the reasons I talked about. r over 2 is rational and y is in y. Since y is in b r over 4 x, we know that the, what's the distance between x and y? It's going to be, it must be less than r over 4. But then this is less than r over 2 here, let's use fractions, we've got enough room. So this is less than r over four, which is obviously going to be strictly less than r over two. And so the distance between x and y is less than r over two, and r over two is the ball of radius r over two, no, and b r over two, and v is the ball of radius r over two centered at y, and so this means that x is in v. Well, I guess we already knew that. Well, yeah, we already knew that. Um, No, we didn't. Because, okay, yeah, because V is not... Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, so, yeah, I messed this up. Okay, so... V is not yet guaranteed to be in N because we need to prove that X is in it first. Um, so let's see here. Since Y is in BR over 4X... So I'm going to redo that thing that I just erased. The distance between x and y is less than r over 4, which is strictly less than r over 2. And so this confirms that x is in v. Um, and then combining this fact with the facts that, okay, that that's pretty wordy, but anyways, I'm sort of just winging this at this point. Since r over two is in q, and y is in y, we, these are the three conditions of an element of uh, n. So we have v is in n. Okay, so that's good. Uh, what next? 
we need b we need v to be entirely contained in br of x okay so now let's do that um, also for all z in v what's the distance between x and z this is going to be less than or equal to well here we use a triangle inequality distance between x and y plus the distance between y and z. Um, x and y are both in the ball of radius r over 4, so that distance will be less than r over 4. And z is in z is in v, which has radius r over 2, so this, this the second distance between y and z will be less than r over 2. And we add these together, this is 3 fourths r, which is strictly less than r. And so z is in the ball of radius r centered at x because the distance between x and z is strictly less than r. Which confirms... And this holds for every single z and v, and so v is contained in brx. So v... But, yeah. So v is contained in br or so x is contained in v, which is contained in brx, which we proved was a subset of u. Okay, so thus, that's all you need for a countable neighborhood base. So thus, n is a, no, that's all you need for a neighborhood base. So thus, n is a countable neighborhood base for the topology at x. And this holds for any x in um, the space, and hence the space x is second countable. So yeah, what we really used here was we used the fact that we have a countable dense subset and the fact that um, balls of arbitrary radius, well, the, radi the radii in that come from uh, R, and the rationals are dense in R, so we can use these two countable sets in order to obtain our countable neighborhood base. And we've confirmed that this space is second countable, and that's all that we wanted to do, and so we're now done with the exercise.